Well, it's official. Welcome to the first round at Kosai. Before we begin, if you are new to the channel, then hit those like and subscribe buttons along with that bell icon to officially join the Columbus crew. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend you check out the introduction of Kosai. I highly recommend it. Even though this building doesn't really have a whole lot of animal species, well, I'm still very thankful that there are. Because, well, I might as well get Kosai, well, some facelift. Because, well, not a whole lot of people think, oh, there's animals in this building. But there actually are. Anyway, one of the few animal attractions we'll be starting with, well, today, we're going to go through the one and only Oceans. My guess is that the Oceans exhibit opened sometime right after 1999. And, well, the uh, lily pad area, this is where we're going to be going to today which has a couple of critters. Well, it got a little facelift and opened maybe a decade later after the oceans open or so, even though really I don't go there much often. Like I said, there's not really a whole lot of species in, well, in this section. Well, as far as I could tell, probably like between seven to 10 species, mostly fish, a couple of turtles and a active amphibian you're about to see. For like the second time on the channel. But anyway, let's get our diving gear on and well, head into the lily pad in the big oceans for the tour. Also, before I begin, I highly recommend you check out my friend Tyler, aka Floorcraft, and check out his channel because, well, to thank him, he wants to go through the oceans exhibit really bad and so glad he did. So, once again, to thank him, check out the, well, description for Floorcraft's channel to check him out. Anyway, oh, hello again, Josh. Anyway, we are now underwater in the oceans. The first room has sculptures and, well, amazing statue of Poseidon and cool attractions, such as this underwater tornado tank. And also, check out the Poseidon sub, which you can actually go inside. And now, as my friend Tyler likes to point us, we are now in our preferred destination. Welcome to the lily pad pond and, well, now, we're getting into the animals, into, well, three terrariums, two reptiles, some fish, and an amphibian. For the first one, well, we're going to be starting at the bottom tank, which, well, this is pretty long and lengthy, and a good home for the spotted turtle. Yep, so we got to see the species again after the reptile house video. Anyway, the spotted turtle gets his name because, well, well... The spots on the shell. But sadly, this endangered reptile is range is disappearing. They are usually found in northern Ohio and the eastern United States. Above the spotted turtle is a small fish tank. And well, to keep things going, check out the full species list down below in the description. On the top middle of the tanks is another lengthy exhibit for another reptile. And well, we haven't seen this one yet, but unfortunately it wasn't active because we only got the shell of a woodland box turtle. Kind of wish it was moving at this point. Right next to that turtle is another tank, which again, there's a full species list below. Because, well, you gotta save the best for last. In the bottom left terrarium, you got to see the movement of a very active Eastern Hellbender. Which surprisingly, once again, we got to see the movement of this cool looking amphibian, which is really, really hard to find and hard to see on the day you're at the zoo or at Kosai. Even though the name does sound like you're cussing a little, I'll just use the other name for this cool looking amphibian, the snot otter. This, believe it or not, is actually North America's largest amphibian, even larger than most frogs that we have in the United States. And well, you probably already tell, the hellbender or snot otter, what do you want to call it, is related to the Chinese and Japanese giant salamanders, which are located, well, you probably guessed it, China and Japan. And well, you can probably tell with the, well, obviously with the Hellbender, it looks like they're from a different age. Well, you are correct, because believe it or not, Hellbenders, like these guys, have actually been on Earth for over 65 million years. And that ends this quick look at the lily pad area. And take a look at some cool aquatic animals. Though we didn't really get to see a whole lot though. And a few that were not active. Either way, even though we didn't get to see a whole lot of movement from a lot of animals, except, well, obviously with the Hellbender, we, well, I'm still glad I got to feature this because, well, 
Kosai definitely needs to be featured more often from a whole lot of people. And for me, well, I'm just only focusing on the animal side of things, as usual. But anyway, the next time we'll be here, which, well, it should be out pretty soon, we are leaving the waters of the wetlands and journey into the jungles and vast wildernesses of one of, well, the strangest and cool looking places on Earth. To see some cool looking animals, including two new reptiles, an amphibian, a reptile that I already seen in the past, and a few, but couple of sculptures at the limited time Cuba exhibit. And I will see you very soon.